All right, let's talk about function as a service, also known as fast. So here's kind of a diagram that I like to use to uh, visualize it, but we'll get to it in a moment here. So what is function as a service? It allows developers to focus on just writing pieces of codes, also known as functions, and it has event-driven integration trigger functions based on event data or to emit event data. So it's not just a matter of having a piece of function or code that you write in a box, but the fact that it has to be event-driven. Uh, generally, multiple functions are orchestrated together to create a serverless application, sometimes also known as microservices. Functions generally only, uh, only run when needed. And so function as a service is not serverless on its own. Uh, so fast function as a service is only serverless if it's fully managed and it scales to zero. Just to take a closer look at this graphic here. So the idea is that uh, if we're talking about the underlying infrastructure, it's of course running on some kind of physical server. Um, and from there, you'll have a host operating system. And then you uh, it could be a hypervisor. Uh, and then from there, you could have a virtual machine running a container runtime like the Docker daemon. Um, or, you know, it could be um, there are some uh, OSs that are optimized to run a container runtime without a hypervisor. But the important part is the idea is that you're just deploying these little pieces of functions and they generally will go into a container. So you might have a uh, container runtime uh, that is specifically configured for Ruby, or it might be configured for Java or Python or .NET. And then the idea is that you're dropping that code and that code's getting um, scheduled into that container. Uh, but hopefully that gives you kind of the general idea of what function as a service is.